everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out and giving you my first impressions on the Primark slash Primark, however you say it, makeup collection because every time I go in they just seem to have so much more stuff and that section in the shop just seems to be expanding and getting bigger and bigger. So I have got some stuff here that I'm going to try out, give you my first impressions of and also try to create a good makeup look. I recently uploaded an everyday glam makeup look and I know that some of the products in there are a little bit more pricey so hopefully I can try and recreate something like that using these products and try and make them work. I think I spent about £40 on all these things which seems like a lot of money but for literally foundation, powder, lip liner, lip products, eyeshadow palettes foundations, brows, everything, I've got it all covered in about £40, including primers. So anyway, I'm going to use my own brushes, I'm not going to use their brushes because it was going to get out of hand. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to get started and hopefully manage to do something good with this. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to prime my skin using the PS Instagirl No Filter Priming Oil. I bought this a little while ago and I have been using it and I really like it. It was a bit pricier, I think it was about £6. So I'm going to put that on my skin, just a few little drops. It doesn't smell amazing, I must admit. It smells quite bland, like nothing. And then I'm just going to pat that into the skin. This is supposed to give you a nice dewy glow, which is good because the foundation that I've picked up is matte so hopefully this will be like a nice combo together the both of them. I think I'll just go right in and start with foundation. So the foundation that I've picked up is the My Perfect Colour foundation and I've got this in the shade Toffee which looks really dark for me as you can see but when I used it in the shop it actually looked very similar to the MAC one that I'm using just now and the colour choice wasn't great. I think my shop was really needing a delivery in so I have picked this up but I'm also going to mix it in with this which is the My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick. Now I actually thought this was a concealer because they didn't have very many concealers and this is the only one that I could find that was like a lighter tone for me. And this is in the shade Nude Beige and I'm going to go ahead as I would normally do and use my Real Techniques brush to blend that in. I'm going to put some in the back of my hand because I don't know what this is like and I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush and try and, oh my god it's really dark, <laughs> try and blend that into my skin. It says it's a medium to full coverage so it must be buildable so let's go ahead and see how that blends in. I mean it doesn't smell bad at all, sometimes I feel like cheap makeup smells awful so it doesn't smell bad at all. It's definitely more of a medium coverage but let's see if we can build up because I'm going to try and do a full coverage look to see if I could use this like on a night out and then hopefully it'll wear down nicely. So far it feels really comfortable on my skin, it doesn't feel really tight or cheap but it is definitely more of a kind of tinted glow kind of look, it's not really like a full coverage foundation. It also claims to be matte but it's clearly not super matte because even some of the matte foundations that I have, if I put a priming oil on, it still goes on matte. So, oh god. Now it has to be said, even though that was a really dark colour for me, it blends in really nicely with my own skin tone. So that doesn't look as dark as that. Like that's definitely blended in really nicely so I'm pleased with how that looks so far. But what I'm going to do is go in with the stick. So this is the My Perfect Colour Moisturising Stick Foundation. And I don't tend to use stick foundations anyway but like I said I did think this was a concealer. So I'm going to go in and take that underneath my eyes and it is a lot lighter. It is really really creamy and definitely easy to apply. I can feel that it's just like melting into my skin. Which is sometimes good but then is it going to just disappear? Because sometimes that happens doesn't it? As if it's not pigmented enough. And so to blend that in I'm going to take a damp beauty blender, this is just a Real Techniques one and I'm just going to take that under my eyes and try and blend it up. Just using little dabbing motions. Primark do have their own beauty blenders but I just didn't want to buy any more because I've already got a few here that I got in a pack and they're all kind of much of a muchness aren't they? The black ones in there are meant to be really really good so I have had one of those before but I think they've changed the way that they make them now so they are definitely different. It's also very dewy and not a matte finish that foundation stick. I don't know what it says on it, it just says buildable velvet finish coverage. Oh that's really weird, the oil from the primer has started to pull off the writing on the packaging. I think that using a beauty blender is the only way to do it with this one because if you use your finger it just doesn't 
it doesn't blend nicely and I feel like this is so creamy that if you were then to use a brush it would just leave big brush marks all over your face. Okay I'm feeling a tiny bit ghostly now because that is quite pale and I don't know if it's because of the lighting but I think this might have SPF in it because it is giving me a lot of flashback so I don't know if this is like on camera it looks really really pale and then in real life it doesn't which is weird but close up that is a nice finish that isn't awful that's really really nice I'm just going to go in and quickly set underneath my eyes before any of that starts to crease but it does feel really set in my face so to set it I've got the PS Instagirl Banana Powder it's four pounds oh I should have mentioned this was two pounds and the foundation I think was also two pounds or two pounds fifty so they were the cheaper kind of foundation products that I got but this stuff is renowned for being really good and it's the banana powder it's very much like a Kardashian-esque product it's four pounds but as you can see you do get a lot it looks really finely milled as well which I'm excited about so I'm just going to take this on my beauty blender and then set it underneath my eyes and try and let it bake Okay, so I'm just going to let that do its thing and then I'm going to go in and do the rest of my face. So to contour, I don't have an actual cream contour, which is annoying. I just totally forgot to pick one up. But I'm going to set the rest of my face first using the My Perfect Colour Cool Sand Powder. And this was £2 and this is like a compact with a mirror and also a little sponge. So this is nice and pale, but I'm just going to use that to set my whole face. That looks really, really nice, that powder. That's really nice. Just trying to take that dewy edge off the head because I don't want it to look too shiny because that's where my makeup can start to break up. So I really need to always sit in between the brows. And I've got highlighter as well, so we can always go back in and put some dewiness back on my face. And then I'm going to take the My Perfect Colour Mineral Powder. This is a medium coverage powder and it's oil free and it was £2. I have got this in the shade Caramel which is really dark for me but it's really nice to use this as a contour colour. I've got it on an angled brush at first but I think that it's actually better using this on a bigger brush and just being a bit more carefree about the angle of the contour. So I'm just going to... I mean, this is nice, this powder, and I have used it before, but sometimes I feel like it can get a little bit cakey in the corners. You really need to be very, very light with the strokes, otherwise it starts to all clog and go really, really dark in the corners and quite mucky looking. Yeah, I actually prefer using a bigger brush, to be honest. It's definitely easier when the bristles aren't as concentrated as that, because otherwise, like I say, it starts to just look a little bit cakey in the corners. I'm just going to take that under my jawline as well. And then I'm just taking some on my forehead as well and just trying to give myself that kind of like sun-kissed look. So I'm feeling nice and bronze after doing that and it is a nice colour. I actually think that powder, you really need to have your whole face powdered before you use it because, like I say, it just sticks to the rest of your foundation. So definitely powder up before you use that. And then I'm going to go in and use this palette. I forgot I had this. It is the Gold Rush palette and it's got my highlighter, it's got blush, it's also got a contour colour and this was £4, sorry, £5 for this one but you do get the four pans in it and they look really nice. I'm actually going to swatch a couple of the highlighter colours first to see what they are like. That is really, really shimmery and we've got a glow. So the gold one's called Carrot and that one is called a glow and then I've also got treasure which is the contour colour and then blaze which is the lovely blush colour so I'm going to go in and use my angled brush and use treasure on my contour and I'm just going to concentrate the colour that went up the back of the cheekbone I don't want to go too far and then up the side of my temple as well and I think what we'll do as well is use this to do the nose contour so I'm just going to take it on the end of my angled brush and then pop it in the end of my nose and then just go side to side and again, just taking that on the corner of the brush and then going on the side of the bridge of my nose. Next up, I'm going to highlight and I have got two highlighters. So I've got the palette and I've also got the strobing cream. Now this was, I think, £4, but I have seen really good stuff about it. It is in the colour Peril and I'm just going to take some of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and try and get that onto my cheekbone. I think this is the best way to apply these products because otherwise they just move the rest of your makeup. So I'm just going to take that. Oh wow, that's amazing. That is so nice. This will be gorgeous on holiday. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. 
Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe how how pigmented that is. Jeez, how how highlighted is that? Whoa, it is shining bright. I actually can't go over how bright that is. It is beautiful though. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this. You'll fast forward five minutes in this video and then I will be shining bright. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely amazing. That is going in my everyday makeup. I love that so much. I can't believe that was four pounds. Like, seriously. Really good. It dries down lovely. It doesn't move the rest of my makeup. That is my favourite so far. I'm obsessed with that. Right, next up, I'm going to go in with blush before I do eyes. And I'm going to take the gold brush palette, so this one here, and I'm going to go in with Blaze, which is the bottom one, which is a nice warm blush, which is something I've been looking for for a while. I'm always so scared when I use blush because you could just ruin your whole makeup and I don't know how pigmented it is. So, oh, that is really nice. I love that. I'm going to then go in with Carrot, which is one of the highlighters, and just kind of take that on the peak of the cheekbone because I really want to try it. And I'm just going to go in with a nice fan brush and take a little bit of this. It looks really pigmented, so I need to be careful we don't go overboard. My goodness, it's actually amazing. It's amazing. Oh god, I love this. Right, that is that is like the same as like one of the Becca highlighters no lie and they're about 35 pounds that is so gorgeous i love this that i can't believe how shiny that is that is amazing i am going to love this on holiday i can't wait to take it i'm just taking a little bit in the cupid's bow and then a little bit in my nose you know i know when this is good because this fan brush on my current highlighter picks up nothing you really need a heavier brush to get right in there but that is just that's amazing. I really want to try some of a glow as well on my cheeks. Like that's beautiful as well. I can't believe how shiny I am right now. But I need to stop before I end up like completely shining. This is ridiculous. If this lasts, I am a complete convert because that looks amazing. I'm so pleased with it. So, so pleased. Right, on to eyes. So the first thing I'm going to take is my nudes little kit which is the metallic eye collection and I think this will act as a really nice base for eyeshadow so in it you get it as three pounds and inside you've got three products so we've got a little brush and then we've got an eyeliner and then a pot of metallic eyeshadow cream but I don't know how this is going to be so let's just see how it is and I'm deliberately keeping on this powder before we do anything because I feel like if I take it off then if there's any fallout from this palette then I'm not going to be able to fix the rest of the face that I've done. So I'm just going to take this, I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, but I'm just going to take this into my waterline. Okay, so that's basically done nothing. I'm going to try and warm it up a little bit. I see no difference. I'm going to do it in the other eye just in case there is, but I see hardly any difference whatsoever. Like hardly anything. Anyway, I'm not going to get too disheartened about that. I'm going to take the PS Eyeshadow Metallic Eye Cream and use this as a base. I would use the little brush they've got, but it looks like an eyebrow brush. Let's try. I'm going to try it on this brush, but I do not know why there's an eyebrow brush in. It says it's a precision brush, but let's just see how it works. Well, that's quite nice, but it's quite cool for me. I don't normally wear something as cool toned as that. It's quite nice, isn't it? I actually quite like that. It goes on really easily. And I have to admit, the brush is actually really good. <laughs> that is not bad at all. Yeah, I quite like it. I like it. Then I'm going to go in with the Nudes palette. Now this was, I think, four or five pounds. And it's got so many nice shades in. They're nice and warm. The kind of shades I would normally go for. So I'm going to go in with probably the top middle, which is this kind of nude colour, and just set that down so I can then go in and use the other colours. Okay, now that I've mattified the eyes, I'm going to go in and use one of the nice transition shades, which is this one here. I'm going to put that in the crease and then I'm going to go in with one of the darker tones.
And although there's a lot of fallout in the pan and on the palette, it doesn't really transfer on your face, which is good. But yeah, that looks quite nice so far. I'm then going to go in and take this nice pinky tone here and do the exact same thing because I do like pinky, warm toned eyeshadows. So again, I'm going to take that. Whoa, that is super, you can really tell the difference now. That's like a really nice mauve colour. I'm actually going to take that on the lid a little bit at the side as well. And then next I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette, take that on a little pencil brush and take it under the eye. And then using that nice warm transition colour, I'm going to go back in and then buff that out. Oh, it keeps flapping up in my eyes. And then lastly, I'm using a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to take that darker colour and literally just buff it into the crease and make it look nice and blown out. And then I'm going to take that nice light sort of peachy pink shade, take that over the lid. And then lastly, take the shimmery shade, the only one on this matte palette, and take that on the brush and go in to the middle and then the front of the lid. Wow, that is so metallic. That is amazing, I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so surprised at how metallic that is because it doesn't look super shiny in the pan but as soon as it's on the eyes it's beautiful it's like really nicely finely milled banana setting powder and so far i think those eyes look good now we're going to move on to brows so i have got the ps brow emergency kit which comes with a little spoolie a set of tweezers, brow gel and also an eyebrow crayon and this was two pounds for all of that so my brows do need done but I'm leaving them to grow out for the wedding and I'm then going to take the brow crayon and also the spoolie and the gel and use them together. So I'm just going to brush my brows up first of all and then I'm going to take this big huge crayon that comes with the kit and try and fill them in. So I'm just going to go under the front of the brow first. Whoa, it's really soft. You need to work quickly and not very heavily. You need to go really, really light with this. Like, it's, I'm hardly even touching my brow and it's just coming off everywhere. Good grief, I'm hardly touching my brows and it's just coming off everywhere. If you're not confident doing brows, do not buy this because it is so, so soft. It is like using cream eyeshadow on your brows. Bloody hell. There should be an emergency kit for this emergency kit. It's so soft. I can't believe how soft that is. Right, I'm going to have to use the little spoolie and try and work that out oh my god they're a mess these are a mess these are a mess i mean the color and all that is good for me but it's just so messy it's it's so messy it's all going so well until now oh no right i'm going to try and save it with oh god i'm going to try and save it with this i'm going to get a little brush and then try and use the foundation stick to try and carve them out because this is just a disaster Okay, I think I've fixed the brow disaster. I think it's done. They're definitely like sisters and not twins and all that, but my goodness. What a messy product. That is just so not user friendly whatsoever. That is just a nightmare, <laughs> an absolute nightmare. But yes, anyway, moving swiftly on, I am going to then use their Stay All Day Gel Liner. This was two pounds. This is like a little brush and pot separate like this and you can actually use the lid to pop that back on again so you then just take the little brush and pop it in the gel stay all day liner put that on the eye line now i've got lashes so i need to be super careful how i do this so bear with me it's actually really easy to work with I can't believe how simple that was to do. That is one of the easiest eyeliners I've ever used. I'm 
Okay, that is probably one of the easiest eyeliners I've ever used, especially to do winged liner. Okay, go on and move on to lips. So the lip colour that I am going for is a kind of like based around sort of velvet teddy. I got this, it's the Golden Rose Dream Lips Lip Liner. I actually thought this bit at the bottom made it screw up, but it doesn't. But anyway, it's a really nice colour. The shade I've got it in is 504. Um, I'm not sure what actual colour it is, but it's called 504. And I'm just going to go and line my lips. Top tip by the way, if you're doing lip liner, put your pinky on your chin because it keeps your hand more stable. Okay, so I really like the colour. It's nice and creamy, but I'm also going to use it to fill them in a little bit because I actually do this all the time because I feel as if using a lip liner on my actual lips stays on a hell of a lot longer than a lipstick and it also acts as a really nice base. Look at me trying to talk and then do this at the same time. What am I doing? But it also has a really nice base for your lip products. Now, I actually thought that I got a liquid lipstick, but I never. I got the Nourishing Lip Gloss. It's the PS Perfect Nude Lip Gloss, and I'm pretty sure this was about a pound or two pounds. It was really cheap, and it smells fantastic. It smells like something kind of citrusy, which normally lipsticks and lip glosses are always kind of like vanilla scents. I'm going to zoom out. I am too zoomed in. So yeah, I'm going to take this on my lips. It's a coloured gloss. I really like it. I've actually not worn lip gloss in so long. But it seems like glosses are all coming back in so I'm more than happy to welcome that so long as the weather is not windy. Now you'll need to forgive me, I completely forgot to pick up a mascara because I hardly ever use mascara because I get lashes done. So I'm just going to use my own mascara on the bottom lashes. I didn't see a setting spray but I did see a hydrating mist and it's cucumber and aloe. Now, this burst all over my bag, so all my stuff was covered in this. But I'm going to use it to spray down my face and hopefully that will set the rest of the makeup. I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up so you can see the actual finish on my skin. But I am really impressed with half of that. Everything apart from the brow pencil, it looks fine now, but everything apart from the brow pencil, I would 100% use on a daily basis. Like, that is absolutely gorgeous. I really like it. It doesn't feel cakey. It feels really nice. It's not setting in any of like my lines in my head. The eyes are not creasing whatsoever. That banana powder is amazing. But yeah, I really like it. Okay, so I will admit, I was expecting this to look terrible. Like, the makeup's so cheap. Like, why would it be so cheap if it was going to be good? I am totally amazed by how good some of that stuff is. If I'm going to conclude my favourite, it's going to be the strobing cream, which is this. The eyeliner, which is here. Um, what else did I absolutely love? The banana powder is so good. What else is probably a favourite? The lip liner. Really, really good. And that was not that expensive either. The Gold Rush palette is amazing i really love that the colors in this are amazing the pigment is so good they go on really easily there's not loads of fallout these are all my favorites so far and um, they're all really good i'll be honest like they are i'm totally i don't really know what to say i am absolutely amazed at how good some of that makeup is and to be honest this kind of makeup look is something that i would do it doesn't feel like it's so out and far from my usual i feel like if this lasts all day long then I will definitely be switching up a lot of my daily favourites because this is amazing. Really, really good. I am so super impressed. So anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, if there's some of the things that you really want to know more about, then ask me below and I will get back to you. If you've also used some of the Primark makeup and you like some things, then please let us know some recommendations. Leave it in the comments and tell other people what you really love and what you find super amazing. Or even if there's some dupes out there, let us know and we will try and find some Primark dupes to some of the high street ones or the high end products. But anyway... I am loving this makeup month of the day. There's also going to be a haul coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. If you're new, hit subscribe. If you are subscribed, click the bell because you will not be notified until you've got that clicked. And I will see you very soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>